The Chemical Accident Prevention Provisions, Part 68 of Title 40 of the CFR, under Section 112R of the Clean Air Act, CAA, made it mandatory for facilities to develop a risk management plan if they are engaged in production, handling, processing, distribution, or storage of certain chemicals. Such facilities previously complied with the rules of 1999 and then to the amended rules of 2004. On August 30, 2013, the hazards associated with solid ammonium nitrate storage, handling, and management were illustrated in a chemical advisory issued by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, ATF. Any facility that contains any of the extremely hazardous, toxic, and flammable substances listed in the Code of Federal Regulations at 40 CFR 68.130 in an amount above the threshold quantity specified for that substance in a tank, drum, container, pipe, or other process are required to develop and implement a risk management program under a rule issued by the EPA. The EPA provided technical guidance to help facilities determine if they are subject to Part 68. It also provided the steps to comply with Part 68 if necessary. The goal of Part 68 and the Risk Management Program is to prevent accidental releases of substances that have the potential to cause serious harm to the public and the environment from short-term exposures and to mitigate the severity of releases when they occur. According to this provision, companies of all sizes that use certain flammable and toxic substances are required to develop a risk management program. A risk management plan, or RMP, is a document that a facility must submit to the EPA to describe its risk management program and prove that it fulfills all of the requirements of Part 68, which must be implemented on an ongoing basis. The main focus of RMP is to prevent accidental chemical releases, reduce risk to the community from exposure to hazardous chemicals, and minimize the consequences of releases on the environment. It is the duty of the facility management to submit a summary of the facility's risk management program along with the RMP to governmental agencies, the State Emergency Response Commission, and local emergency planning committees. The RMP is communicated to the public as needed and should be revised every five years and resubmitted to the EPA with the updated information. The Consolidated List of Chemicals Subject to the Emergency Planning and Community Right to Know Act EPICRA and Section 112R of the Clean Air Act, also known as the List of Lists, can be used as a reference tool to help facilities that handle chemicals determine whether they need to submit reports under Section 302, 304, or 313 of EPCRA, and, for a specific chemical, what reports may need to be submitted. The list is also helpful for facilities trying to determine whether or not they will be subject to accident prevention regulations under CAA Section 112R. Note that these lists should not be treated as a definitive source of compliance information. Compliance information for EPCRA is published in the Code of Federal Regulations, 40 CFR Parts 302, 355, and 372 whereas compliance information for CAA Section 112R is published in 40 CFR Part 68. Both toxic chemicals and flammables that can cause severe, acute health effects are covered under this rule. Pyrotechnic and explosive chemicals are not. The list contains 77 acutely toxic chemicals, 63 flammable gases and liquids, pure or more than 1% mixtures, and any mixture that meets the NFPA 4 rating. The NFPA 4 rating is for material that rapidly or completely vaporizes at atmospheric pressure and normal ambient temperature, 
or is readily dispersed in the air and will burn readily. For example, a liquid or gaseous material which is a liquid while under pressure and has a flash point below 73 degrees Fahrenheit and boiling point below 100 degrees Fahrenheit and materials that auto-ignite. The EPA has developed supplemental guidance for industry-specific risk management programs for the following industries. Propane storage facilities, warehouses, chemical distributors, ammonia refrigeration, and wastewater treatment plants. Thank you.